Hello, Internet! I'm ColorfulArty, and welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed. So, today we are finishing up the sixth dungeon, the Mermaid's Cave. Last time we beat the most annoying mini-boss in the game on our first try, got the dungeon item, and we also have the boss key, so we can now finish things up in the past version of this dungeon. Should be very interesting. Alright. So, alright, cool. Nothing to the right, so we can just keep going up. Actually, wait, hang on. Oh, that's right. We gotta go to the basement, so never mind. We are going to the right at the beginning. Well, Bowie. Guess we gotta brave the candles again. We don't really care about the wizards in this room, we just wanna... Alright. Let's sneak past these guys. Oh yeah, we have to all kill them. Oh boy. Let's wait. Don't follow me. No, don't follow me. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. No, don't follow me. Don't ah! <sighs> I hate candles. <sighs> the candles are so annoying. Alright, let's light them right away this time. Light them up. And now we'll run around the block. Hopefully he won't catch us. Don't follow me. Alright, whew. Yeah, we have to go this way because there's a certain, um, deep water we can swim in now. Right there. Ah. Okay, so those are currents. They're gonna try to suck us down. You don't want to go for, uh, to, into those. Those are jellyfish. Do not hit them while they're electrified or you'll see you're in for a shocking experience. Yeah, you'll notice now we can use our sword as our A button. In the past, if we wanted to use the sword underwater, we'd have to set it to our B button. And more currents. This time they're just pushing us around. And these can get very annoying. We'll be seeing more of those later on in the game. And... alright, cool. Ow! Stupid snake. Why are there fireballs underwater? This makes no sense. Alright, we open that, we get a small key, and now we can just save and quit. Warp to the beginning of the dungeon, and that way we don't have to backtrack all that way. Shortcuts are fun. Alright, so it's a pretty straight shot to the boss now. Stupid shrouded Stalfoses. Oh boy. Oh, I see you. Nope. Not today. There. Oh, yay. Thank you for the heart. You guys aren't totally heartless after all. Oh, yeah. Alright. This is the blue Wizrobe room. So we're gonna kill them the easy way. Instead of using the sword, what we can do is use Gale Seeds. If he would ever actually appear. <sighs> Take your lumps, there we go. Insta-KO. He'll instantly respawn if we come back to the room, but since we're probably not going to be coming back to the room, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, looks like it's time for more Gale Seeds. Oh, we can use those on the wall- uh, Floor Masters as well. I keep wanting to call them Wall Masters, but they are not Wall Masters. The Wall Masters are the ones that drop from the ceiling. More turntables! And yeah, you'll notice that we've got a key, but we actually do need to dive down in the deep water. And we'll stock up on some supplies. That's how grand. <laughs> Stylish. Alright. Yeah, you can, you'll notice that the different colored tiles, or the tiles that look different underwater, those are the ones that if you push B on, then you'll go up to a new level. That'll come in handy in the next dungeon. 
more underwater fire. Makes no sense. And yeah, it is very hard to swim against the current sometimes. Thankfully, the fire stops after you kill all the enemies. Yes, good. Oh boy, more spears. Those will shoot spears if you, uh, get into close to them, so you need to, ow. Quickly swim past them and going as far down as possible. Ooh, yeah! More switch hook! It's the switch hook puzzle. Gotta put one of those diamonds on each one of those colored tiles. It's a bit tedious, but it's the switch hook, so I don't mind. Yes, I love the range of the switch hook. Okay, it doesn't have that much range. I sense a lot more of this in the future. And that makes a chest appear magically with a key! Swim past the spears. Yeah, if we swim at the very bottom, then they won't hit us. Alright, uh, okay, yeah, there's a chest in this room. We'll just go around. That'll be easier. And we get 30 rupees! That's nice. More rupees means more money for potions. Alright, I think we're almost at the boss now. Let's kill those bats, yeah. Key block right here, so you do need to go underwater. Ooh, another seat shooter ricochet puzzle. We haven't seen these in a while. And kabam! Nope. Kabam! Aw. Oh. Alright. Blam! Nope. Blam! No. Oh, come on! Come on! Really? There we go! That was pretty precise. Oh, yep. Boss coming up. Alright. So, this is a very, uh, interesting boss, I'll say. It's Octagon, I believe is his name. Octagon the Octorok. So, when he's above water, he'll race around, you wait for him to turn around, then hit him with the seed shooter, and avoid the sh seeds that he shoots at you. So this is pretty simple, but it doesn't stay like this for the whole battle. Yeah, when he dives, you have to go underwater, and this is where it gets dangerous. You gotta hit him with your sword now, and the problem is, he can damage you very easily, and he deals a lot of damage, and yeah, we're dead. <sighs> oh, fun. Alright, round two for Octagon. Oh, come on. Yeah, the hitbox on his front is kinda small. And the problem is, if since you can only have one shot ricocheting around the screen as once, seriously, because you can only have one shot on screen at once, uh, it can be difficult to hit him at times. Oh boy. Ah, he's so fast! It can also be very hard to s Ow. You're fast underwater, but... Ugh. Round three. Round three against Octagon the guy. He's an octopus, he totally is an octopus! His name's Octagon, I think. I actually am not sure. I want to say it's Octagon. Ow. Yeah, you gotta be really fast. Uh, the underwater parts are so risky! And you don't deal very much damage underwater on a cursed playthrough. If you've got the red ring, then you love the underwater parts. Ow. Ah! The <laughs> Round four. This guy is harder than I imagined he would be. Don't get in the water, Link. Yes, that's what you want to do. I wonder if you could ricochet the shots off the wall into the back of his head. I want to try that. I, di I did not mean to do that. Ugh, rest shot ricochets around for so long. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought I could hit him twice. I keep just missing. I, I want to know if I can hit him in the back of the face. Oh boy. This is not good. The problem when you're underwater is that you can go fast, but it takes a while to get up your speed. Especially if you're charging. Ow. I'm going to beat this guy. No octopus is going to give me this much trouble in a video game. You can hit him in the back of the face! That's what I'm going to be doing now. Ow. It's his stupid underwater parts that are annoying. Man, that was pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Alright. If you hit, like, any part of the white shell on his back as well, it'll just bounce off. Darn it! I was doing so well! Alright, Octagon, come on. <laughs> I love doing the super ricochet shots around the corner. Uh, okay. Link, that's a little too close. Oh. Ow. Ow. It is so hard to hit him underwater while avoiding getting hit. Oh no, 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 no! Get out of the bubble! Ah! <sighs> this guy. How is it this guy's giving me more trouble than the mini boss? I was sure the mini boss was going to be the hardest part of the game. No, Link, stop doing that. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Ow. No, Link, stop! Okay, stop going there. I can't really hit you when you're there. That was a great shot. Ow. Oh, boy. Do not get hit by his bubbles. Ow. I'm beginning to think I should have gotten a magic potion before facing this guy. Ugh, it's easy to fall off. Thankfully, the water doesn't damage you. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on, Octagon! Stop being so annoying. This is not my day. Ow, ow. Back off. That seems to be working. I wonder, can I shoot him underwater? I can? Oh, well this makes it a bit easier. I could have sworn you couldn't use the seed shooter underwater. Maybe it's just ember seeds you can't use underwater? Yeah, if you hit him enough, then he'll go back above water. Well, this makes the fight quite a bit easier. Alright, I think I got his number now. Ah, stupid ricochet shot. Alright, I can do underwater now. Oh, I know. Now that I know, all I have to do is shoot you in the face with scent seeds. I hope this doesn't take forever. Come on! Oh, I should have hit in there. I can do underwater, Ed! <sighs> Come on. Oh, for crying out loud, you have to hit him, like, dead center. Ooh, that actually did hit him. Okay, that was a pretty nice shot. <laughs> it ricocheted, like, three times before hitting him in the face. Okay, how many times do I hit have to hit this guy? Yes! Goodbye, Octagon! Ah, oh, that was still a much better fight than the mini-boss, though. And we get the Bereft Peak, an essence of time. It is a proud, lonely spirit that remains stalwart, even in trying times. What does that have to do with peaks, though? Well, anyways, we get the sixth essence of nature. And you know what? 
Well, we'll see. Hang on. It's the little Maku tree sending us a message. What is it? Artie, I have great news! Queen Ambie has just left the palace! Now is your chance! This may be your only opportunity to save Nehru! Ooh, interesting. Well, you know what? We're not actually going to end the video off there just yet. There's some stuff I want to do. Now that we've got the mermaid suit. Uh, where is it? Ba -ba -ba. There it is. Yeah, now that we've got the mermaid suit, there's some stuff I want to show off. Fill up on ember seeds. And yes, we can swim in the ocean now. It is amazing. Link can go on vacation now. We're going back to Crescent Island. The raft is still here. <laughs> Rafton's never getting that back. Okay, not what I wanted. Alright. Yeah, that cave down there. What you saw, there's something good down there. And also, if we dive underwater in the ocean, it's like a whole new world down here. A dazzling place that I never knew. And often, uh, occasionally underwater stuff will be laid out differently than above water, so... We'll be seeing a lot more of underwater in the future. Yeah, so there's some coral blocking us above water, but it's not there underwater, so... There's that. But yeah, go in the cave. There's something special in here that I want. It's a Toki! And he's carrying something. I found this scrap wood by the sea. It's weird. I've been waiting here a long time, but the owner hasn't come to claim it. Um, I guess you can have it. I've been polishing it for many years, so it's very shiny. And we get the Iron Shield! If you meet the one who dropped it, you don't need to mention me. I don't need any thanks. So the Iron Shield is basically just a larger version of the regular shield that can block more stuff. So as you can see, it's huge. And it came very much in handy for the final boss of Oracle of Seasons, so it might come in handy in Oracle of Ages, I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. And also, if I'm not mistaken, there's a giant maze underwater underneath Crescent Island. I'm gonna try exploring that a bit. <sighs> but yeah, we'll be exploring the ocean a lot very soon. Dun da 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 Alright. So there's this ugly statue. That's the entrance to the Moonlit Grotto. You'll notice it's closed here. And also... One of the best hidden Gasha plots in the entire game. I have no idea how you'd ever find that. Alright, so I want to say there's a giant maze underneath the island. Or maybe that's just in the present. I'm not sure. I want to at least explore around, check it out a bit. Anything here? Nothing. And those those are not portals to Subrosia, those are vortexes. If you swim in them, you will get sucked in and take damage. Rats, okay. So I guess the maze only exists in the present. Those are currents. And yeah. A lot of whirlpools. In fact, so many it creates like a shield, so we just can't get inside there. You might be wondering how in the world we can get inside there. Well, yeah, there's like that free by free grid in there that we just cannot reach because it's completely blocked off on all sides. We There is a way in, but we'll explore that at a later time. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I think I've got quite a few rings to appraise, so I'm going to do that, and then end the episode. I want to say I have, like, three or four rings that need appraising, so we can at least check them out. Hey, Vasu! Do come in, it's Luigi's Jewelers. What? Only one?! It's the Toss Ring. You can throw objects farther. You, we already have it, so we basically just got 10 rupees. I thought I had more than that, but guess not. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we will go to Ambi's Palace and save Nehru. Have a great day, and God bless.